welcome to Takahitsu Gaming. This is Takahitsu speaking, and we are playing SCP The Unity Upgrade. Hey guys, uh, Nexus guys here. Like you... oh. oh, sorry, go ahead, Nexus. <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry, guys, Nexus here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, exactly where we left off. Perhaps unsurprisingly, because we're recording these back to back, we're still lost and still confused and still about to get our asses kicked. The floor monster isn't scary anymore. No. Okay, there's nothing up here. See, look, that little ducky guy is still floating there. Yeah, I'm not sure what's that. what that's about. Oh, there's like ten documents. Okay. <sighs> Time to read a thousand documents. Hey, Don't stand in one spot in too long, because I've noticed that he <laughs> if you stand in one spot... <laughs> Um, the if you candy SCP is he? The candy SCP is not dangerous. I take it. Uh, he refilled my health. I ate one of his blue and. Uh, what just happened? Did I just lose my hands. Hey, SCP three three zero killed you. I grabbed one of the candies and lost my hands and bled out. Take no more than two, please. Okay, I think I clicked it, like, a couple times, which would explain why it killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson learned. <laughs> that will actually make your life hell if you get greedy. So you can actually select like different colored candies? I uh, I guess, yeah. Take two and then walk away. Fuck You fucking bitch. <sighs> one seven three in a corner? No, one oh six. I was trying to get him to fucking run through the Tesla thing and he snuck up behind me on the other side of it and I tried to run through it to lead him through it and it fucking got me instead. <sighs> Wait, you found the Tesla? Yep. Upstairs? Like the elevator? Uh no. You gotta go to the circle or <laughs> you gotta go to the circle room. Mm hmm. And um I'll try and lead you there. Not, oh wait, no, okay, the circle room, and then that that's the room where flowers were left, right? Right. Oh wait. No. This is not it. I'm gonna let this uh mannequin do now. Okay. Alright, so go back to the red room. This is the way to... <laughs> How did you just appear right in front? <laughs> oh my god. They're trying to give me a heart attack. They're trying to give me a heart attack. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to give me... They're trying to... This game's trying to kill me. I'm somehow not surprised. I opened the door. The door was already open. I went to go run into the red room and SCP just... SCP-173 just, boom, appeared right there in front of me in the middle of the room. God. Yeah, I was like, oh! And then I backed up and the fucking mannequin was behind me. Stuck in there. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just something about the way you scream. Just, man. just kill me now, okay? Just, 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 just end it, okay? Just, just end it. Floor guy. No. What in the world has got? One seven three just appeared on top of me. Yep. Uh... Right, because if you stand in one spot for too long, that's what draws them. No, 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 I was not standing in one spot, believe me. 
<laughs> some health kits, so I picked them up. I can hear the monster on the other side of the frickin' wall. Mannequin. That sucks, he's in our way and we gotta go that way. Well, I'm trapped in here right now. Yeah, I am too. I'm trapped on the other side of the red room. Uh, I just let out the mannequin. And 173 standing in the, uh, the only way I have to go because going upstairs... Die, basically. <laughs> the mannequin teleported into that safe room with me and it closed the doors. <laughs> um, decontaminated him. <laughs> Oh. You know the decontamination room that closes automatically? Yeah. That sucks, too, because the floor monster can get you in there. Ah! Speaking of... Right, exactly. My thoughts, exactly. He just appeared right at the floor bit right at the floor I was in, the room I was in. Ah! SP one seven three, you should have moved by now. Yeah, he just did. He just appeared in the room I was in. He I turned my back for one second and then he was I turned around and he was there. And then I couldn't turn my back. I had to open the door with my fate with me God. facing him. He did move. Okay, so when you get to the red room, you need to go left to the circle hallways. Across this area with the pipes. And then I think. Wait a minute, I'm, I just got back to the circle room finally. SCP 173 was between me and circle room. Alright. In the red room. I think I know where, I have, where, where you're trying to take me. Down the long uh, administrative hallway, into the tool room, around the corner, through the door. Um, if you go to the right instead of the left at that spot, by the way. Um. Oh. Um. Yeah. It's where the warehouse is. I found the warehouse. There's like bonbons on the inside. I don't know. I found a coke bottle. It's an SCP though. A bunch of okay, a bunch of SCP documents. You just went into the warehouse. Okay. Uh, floor monster spawns in there. Yep. Found the bomb. Found the bonbons. Like like I said, the floor monster spawns in there. Yep, it just did too. Ah! One seven three likes to come to the outside. He did. Huh? No, you don't, you bitch. Get off me, you hoe. Oh, he spawned in the red room. I'm about to die. Floor monster's killing me. I got away from him somehow. I just kept running. That's why I always leave the damn doors open, because <laughs> I can close them on him behind me. And I just... If you can get ahead of him, see, yeah. if you can get about see, three rooms ahead of him, room. 
If you can get about three rooms ahead of him, he'll do. Sp he'll he'll leave you alone, at least for a little while. Said don't drink two zero seven. I don't know. I didn't get a chance to read anything because I'm been chased. It healed me. It says consumable. Okay, you can only drink it so many times before, before it kills, kills you. You. <laughs> you just found out. Yep. <laughs> Damn. I did too. Damn. Damn, that right, sucks, so man. <laughs> oh, no, I have to go pick all that stuff up again. Fuck. Ugh. All right, Where I'm, are you at? I'm, go I'm in the red room. I'm going left. Okay, um, when you get to the room that's like that administrative hallway and there's that weird door to the right that says light containment. Yeah. Document, and then through that room is the container holding the gas mask. All right, hang on. I think it's this one. Okay, yep. But I'm not going in the warehouse just yet because I don't think I can survive that, to be honest. If you okay, when you re reload the game. Bandages uh -huh. are restored. Okay, yeah, I've noticed that. Three's there. Bandages get restored. Yeah, I've noticed that. You save the game, like, and then you go back to a bandage container. There's more health there after you die. Makes sense. Which is kind of nice. Because, yeah, I mean, it does make sense. Now get above 20 health and actually live to see, you know, past one floor monster. Found the lizards? No. But the loading screen oh, showed me a picture. The loading screen showed screen. me a picture of one of them. <laughs> that was enough. Look really scary in this one. I'm gonna try going upstairs again. <laughs> I'm in the elevator right now. <laughs> so my. <laughs> well, you can't save in the elevator. Interesting. Okay. A fucking weapon would be nice. Oh, yeah. Among other things. Ah! <laughs> I only took two candies. So the monkey. I just is took in a here. candy and it killed me. That's why I screamed because. <laughs> hey, it, because you only take two. You take more than two, you're you're. Done. I only I didn't take one. I think it's because the save I already have taken two. <laughs> oh yeah, that that could very well be it. That sucks. Yeah, so you saw what happens when you get your hands. Off. When you get too greedy. <laughs> you're a radio. No. Walked into one of the side rooms. The room, and I swear I just heard a radio going. Dee, doo, dee, dee. All right. Did oh, you did you ever find the key card in the warehouse? <laughs> I keep dying in the warehouse. <laughs> oh no. I have not successfully navigated the warehouse. I think I have successfully transversed the upstairs. And uh, yeah, now it's going to be time to go to the warehouse. Actually, 
before I do that, I'm gonna go back to the safe room and try and read all. Have you gone underground yet? Huh? Have you gone underground yet? No. Have you? Yeah. All right. When you would when you would normally go to the warehouse, huh? you need to go left instead. I don't think I've done that yet. Well, you should. Codex. Okay, so we got 173 Vardy Red, 1499, 169, 553 are kept in 8 millimeter by 17, or 8 meter by 17 meter, or meter. Steel walled rooms, interior replicates conditions in their native cave, blah, 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 blah. Um, only of approximately 140,000 winged organisms superficially resembling butterflies. They possess a silicon based biochemistry. The body of a member of the species is mostly calcite. Also oh, I've never been down here before. With piezoelectric properties 2.3 centimeters for their wingspan. Adults will swarm the perceived source of danger and proceed to attack it by attempting to slice it with their wings. Ugh. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so lacerations as deep as one centimeter have been measured. However, deeper lacerations usually result in some sort of portion of the wing structure breaking off. I found SCP-914, folks. Nine. Oh, that's the the lizard. The where are you? Though no. Zero nine six is a humanoid. Okay, so this is the floor monster. All right. Okay, so the ducks. There's a saxophone duck. A small saxophone. It makes a little saxophone noise. I, we already witnessed that. <clears throat> this one's a duck wearing a sheet, similar to a simplistic Halloween costume. Doesn't do anything. And the other one looks more like a flamingo. Perceptions of any subject holding it. Oh, okay, so this must be the one that was secured that everybody says they love. That needed the Argon. Uh -uh. Let's see what a red candy does. Okay, so we, we took candies. Okay, so he has successfully saved. And read all those documents. She got in the warehouse and got out. Huh? She got in the warehouse and got out after taking the bomb bombs and stuff. I didn't go to the warehouse. I went the other way. I found a whole nother area. That's not what I wanted. Damn it. Right. Oh, God. Here we go. I've got air canisters. Nice. I don't know what they're good for, but <laughs> I've got them. Okay, so a floor monster was just chasing me. I found out how to get rid of this floor, get away from the floor monster. How? Um, don't sprint with all your sprints all at once. Oh, well, yeah. That's how you think I've been getting away from him. <laughs> I didn't know. Like, I've been, I was, I will, I will sprint through a face. door and close it behind him and then let it build up. And then when he comes, sprint through the door and close it behind him and let it build up and sprint through the door and close it behind him. I've just been running and getting smacked in the face. Oh no, so you gotta, smacked. you gotta be conservative about that shit. Well, 
Some people learn the hard way. Cough. <coughs> yeah. The multiple hard way. So I've now released the uh, teleporting doll guy. This mannequin. Damn it, give me some of these power tools. Floor monster is no longer over there. You don't even have to close the doors to slow him down. Because uh, when you run a certain distance, he comes out of the wall. Tries to. So if you just keep running while he's slowly coming out of the wall, you get away. Yep. Did you already check all the other areas? Have, right now, aside from going to the left area, which is what I'm about to do, I just keep running into 173. You gotta get past him because there's an under, there's like an area that looks like it's uh, carved out of a cave formation. And he's still there. And there's a whole nother fucking level to the facility down there. I get that. So have you actually gone in the warehouse and gotten out or did you just I've gone in the warehouse three times and gotten out. I just haven't found the key yet. It's not that hard to get out. You just go in there and look around. When you hear him spawn, you get the fuck out. No, my problem is 173 is always on the other side. Oh, well, you know you can I've run. Been, a, you know you can run around him, right? You just can't break eye contact. Man, they're ganging up on me. You know you can run around SCP-173. You just can't break eye contact. I know that, but I'm just saying. Okay, so if you. So if you run backwards, and you're looking at SCP-73 because dude's chasing you, and you run backwards against the door like I'm doing on my uh, game right now, you can still activate the door. But uh, unfortunately, folks, that's going to wrap it up for this time. Uh, we're out of time for the episode today. I'm going to save right here. And uh, thank you very much for joining us. If you liked it, please leave a like. And uh, hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already on both channels. Uh, I've been Nexus, and this has been SCP Containment Breach. This is Takahitsu Gaming. Thank you for watching today. If you guys liked what you saw, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, we could always use the extra support. And have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Good night.